So I'm here at Sheraton Vasana Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's time for a resort update. What's new, what's changing, what's happening here in this new era of travel? We'll talk about it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. I'm going to give you just a quick update today on what's going on around Sheraton Vasana Resort at the moment. Things are kind of pretty much back to normal here for the most part, but uh, we'll give you a few more details as we walk around the resort. But before we do, I wanna let you know on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. And even if you don't own timeshare, I also do resort tours, resort reviews, and villa tours as well. So be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button down below, and also click on that notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. All right, so let's get going here. We're actually out here on 535 at the, uh, I guess it's the south entrance here. And uh, this is a really busy road, but I'm not sure if you can see it, but they are putting in stoplights out here along 535 Apopka Vineland Road. One here at the south entrance, another one up at the north entrance, and then they are also redoing the stoplight at Meadow Creek Drive. Kind of a bit of a disappointment there though because they're taking out the left turn. So you won't be able to turn left out of Meadow Creek Drive anymore. But these lights here that they are putting in at the main entrances will make it easier to turn left into here and even turn right out. This is an extremely busy road. There aren't really a lot of gaps in traffic during the day. so. Hopefully these lights help alleviate that, make it a little bit safer turning in here and turning out as well, but you won't be able to turn left out. And now, like I said, up at Meadow Creek Drive, that was a tip I previously provided to exit there because you could turn left. Well, they've taken that away. So now let's continue on. We're gonna head in the gate here and we're gonna take a little bit of a walk around the resort and I'm gonna tell you what else is going on. So another update here at Sheraton Vistana Resort is that over here in the Palms phase, they're doing roof replacement work. So you'll hear noises like that. You'll hear air nail guns putting in shingles and uh, just a lot of noise here. Actually, it looks like they may be on break here at the moment, but uh, we do have a uh, lift that is moving around here behind me. But yeah, that is one thing they're doing here. Keeping the place up pretty well, but uh, definitely might put a little bit of a damper on your vacation if you're located either in this section or near this section. Okay, so the next thing here, when you check in, you're gonna be asked to go see the concierge to get your parking pass. Concierge is just another term for somebody who tries to sign you up for a timeshare presentation. We are owners here and we didn't sign up for a timeshare presentation. They gave us little yellow wristbands. They said, hey, that is an owner's band. It's good for 10% discount around the resort at the different restaurants. So. If you uh, want to get a discount at some of the restaurants, do pick up your owner's band. Now they did say, hey, you're going to see some people with some blue wristbands. Those are people that signed up for a presentation. Now, oddly, this was when we'd actually been here a couple weeks ago. They gave me these yellow bands. And when we checked in this time, I actually did sign up for a presentation. They didn't give me any bands. I don't know what the deal is. No rhyme or reason. But if you uh, want to get discounts, ask for the owner band. They said the blue band gave better perks but they really didn't explain too much about what the difference is i don't know why there's different colored bands i don't know why it matters if you sign up for a timeshare presentation or not if you're an owner you're an owner okay i'm over here in the cascades phase just uh coming up on the gazebo here just to give you another quick update on pools and pool hours this is something i seem to love about orlando resorts 
they have long pool hours at least here three of the pools the three bigger pools fountains spas and cascades are all open till 1 a.m that is pretty cool all the rest of the pools close those smaller pools at 10 p.m so keep that in mind when you're coming here if you come back from the parks fairly late you can still visit one of the fantastic pools here at least one of those three at Sheraton Bassano Resort definitely a great thing to have because I do love those extended pool hours all right I'm just outside the marketplace here at Sheraton Bassano Resort to give you an update on that the last time we were here and some of the other times before that they were kind of clearing it out I'm not sure if they were converting to maybe a new vendor or a vendor to run the operation here but there really wasn't a whole lot of merchandise in there in fact I got this resort cap for Sheraton Bassano Resort quite a while ago and the last time we were here this was pretty much empty at least of merchandise t-shirts caps those kinds of things but uh, they did always kind of have food items and sundries but it looks like it's back up to its full operation they do have kind of a full starbucks menu it looks like frappuccinos coffees and a number of baked items in there as well pre-made sandwiches too so if you're looking for something quick convenient probably not the most reasonably priced but you can come here to the marketplace all right, so I've popped over here to the fountain section. Just going to go over something. I used to think this was actually an arcade that was in here. It looks like it's not closed. There's no arcade games, no games in there at all. Right now they're doing a Chris Kringle's Elf Training Academy in here until December 30th. So the arcade that used to be here, I remember it the other times we've been here. It looks like it's now gone. Okay, the next quick update here is just happens to be the uh, my tiki hut it is actually closed for renovations they say just the restaurant so my understanding is the bar over there is still open so you can get drinks by the pool over in the fountains pool or you can make the quick walk over from the lakes pool as well but uh, yeah the uh, restaurant is closed so no food available over there they do have zimmies which they state is open till 10 p.m but i've heard a number of people complain that it has closed early and then they have castaways here at the Cascades pool as well. So I don't really know the hours on that one, but it is also open for food and drink. So definitely good to have those restaurants kind of back up to full operation. But like I said, keep in mind, no food over there in the fountain section at my Tiki Hut. Okay, so there you have it. Just a quick resort update here from Sheraton Vistana Resort in Orlando, Florida. Hope you found it useful. If you're planning a trip here, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about it. And if you have any questions that maybe I didn't cover in this update, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the video and also helps get it out to more people looking to come here to Sheraton Vistana Resort. And if you want to see more videos all about timeshare, check out the description box below for another video from Sheraton Vistana Resort. Check out this one right up here and YouTube. They just know you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a timeshare.